Shalom Israel. That's the brother Kadarga Bar here again. And I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in heaven, Yahweh, and his only begotten son name, Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, work out Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the whole you like by the nation of Israel. Shalom. This is Joel chapter 2 verse 1. And it reads. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. And that's what we are called to do, you know, to blow the trumpet. And blowing the trumpet is preaching his word, preaching his gospel, you know, speaking in prophecies into the ears of the Israelites, who are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, we have to blow this trumpet. We sound an, an alarm, you know, preaching his word, giving you Israelites the warning. And, you know, we, we basically warn, warning the whole world that Yahweh Shah is on the way, man. That Yahweh Shah is coming. The day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is coming and it will happen, you know. But this word is specifically for Israel, the Israelites, and mainly the elect of the Israelites. Because the elect are the only ones that's going to, you know, be delivered in these times. The elect of the nation of Israel are going to not only hear this word, but hearken to these words. And, you know, believe on these words. Because you got our people, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They hear this word, you know, but they not hearing it to understand it. They just hearing it just to hear it. But the elect will hear it to understand it, you know. It's a difference, man. You hearing these words, you just hear it. But do you understand it? And the only ones that's going to understand it are the elect. And the, only, and the elect are the only ones that's going to be able to understand it because the Heavenly Father have put His Spirit upon them to understand it. All Israel can't get this truth. They 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 gonna hear it, but they're not gonna understand it, cause the heavenly Father has spiritually, you know, blinded them from seeing and and kept them from hearing it. Not only hearing, but kept them from understanding this word, the two thirds of Israel. So we that preach this word in sincerity, we are called to do this work and, you know, to preach it in truth, to blow this trumpet, and give our people the warning, man, because the day of the Heavenly Father is coming, you know, and it, like the scripture says, nigh at hand, it's close, you know, and we that's in this truth and sincerity, we see the times that we in, man, we see the signs, we see, we see the prophecies come in the past. Letting us know that the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is nigh at hand. It's close. So while blowing this trumpet, we, we preach this word, giving our people the warning of the, of the uh, things to come.
This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. And it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And how do we give the Israelites warning from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah? By blowing this trumpet. What is blowing the trumpet? Preaching his word, preaching the gospel. This is how we blowing the trumpet, man. And, uh, and the only ones that's going to take heed to this warning are the elect. You know? The elect of the nation of Israel. So we're here to tell you that the day of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is coming. It will come. And it's close. So it's time you 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 so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's in this world, man. It's time to to to, to pull your head out the ass of this wicked ass world and 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 and, and wake up out of that dead state and return back to your whole body from your shot before it's too late. You know. This is a. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 37, I'm going to start at verse 1, and it reads, The hand of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. And here in this world, man, before, you know, we came into this truth, as Israelites, man, we, we, we was bones, man. We was like, you know, spiritually dead. You know, we was we was the walking dead. You know, verse two, and causing me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were many, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said, verse three, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered. O Lord, God, thou knowest. Verse 4, again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. So, you know, this is what we called to do, man. That now that we, you know, not in that dead estate, like we used to be in now that we you know are in this truth and we had the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and we had you know this word we are to preach this word unto those dry bones which is our people that's still in the world that haven't repented and turned back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai we have to preach so we could you know wake them up man because they still they still you know they still you know in that dead estate they they look they represented as dry bones, a dead a dead basically a, a dead man, you know, because they don't have his word, man. His word is life. If you don't have you an Israelite, you don't have his truth, man. You dead. The heavenly Father look at as you as a as dry bones, man. And somebody that dies and 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 over time the flesh, you know start to you know consume you know to uh that flesh start to you know go away off the uh what's the word i'm looking for uh the flesh start to uh damn deteriorate you know and, and then you have nothing but bones left you know but that's how our people, you look at our people, man. They, you know, they, they dead, man. They spiritually dead. Verse five, thus said the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live, you know? And that's what happened to us. That's in this truth, man. You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah gave us breath, man, that we live, that we now we live in. And that breath is the word. You know. 
We spiritually, you know, we spiritually woken up, man. You know. Because of this word. And this is what we have to do. We have to preach this word. We have to blow this trumpet, man. You know. To wake up the elect. To give our people the warning of the things that's coming. You know, we preach this word. And then, you know, though those Israelites that's in the world, they hear this word. And they wake up and they turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Now they living again. Now they living. You know, now they alive. You know. Verse 5 again, thus said the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live you know and we living we 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 alive now just just you know us that's in the truth now just think about just think back on how how you was in the world before you you know heard this word man you know you see you see a big difference man This word is life, man. And this is we have to preach this word unto our people, man, that they may live. But we we know only the elect is going to get this word. And this is who we preaching this word for, for the elect, because we understand all Israel is not going to get it. But we still preach it unto all Israel. So, you know, the two thirds can't say they haven't been warned or we haven't, you know, preach this word unto them which we do so there's no excuses for the two thirds man but we know they're not gonna get it only the elect gonna get it so we have to blow this trumpet man the elect is going to wake up they hear this they hear this you know this 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 trumpet they hear us blowing this trumpet they going you know the heavenly father is going to wake them up man you know and they go repent and turn back to the heavenly father man and walk in his ways and believe on this on this truth man you know so we have to just keep you know blowing the trumpet because the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is coming you know This is uh, Isaiah chapter 13. We'll start at verse 1. And it reads, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah saw, Salakia, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. And we know this is talking about America. Verse 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles verse 3 i have commanded my i have commanded my sanctified yeah my sanctified ones i also so like you get excited man i have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. Verse 4. The noise of the multitude in the mountains, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nation gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. Verse 5, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And this is talking about the nuclear missiles. The nuclear missiles, the weapons of the, of the Heavenly Father, are the nuclear missiles. 
he's going to cause those nuclear missiles to rain down here on Babylon, which is America, to destroy the whole land. Verse 6. How ye for the day of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is at hand. It's close. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So the day of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is at hand, man. This is not no game. This is not no joke. You know, this is the real deal. We have to blow this trumpet to tell our people the day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is at hand. You know? Jump down to verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. So there ain't going to be no, no good day, man. <laughs> you know? Ain't gonna be no day of, of, of singing and playing around and partying. No. Verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, cometh, is coming, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. To do what? To lay the land desolate. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You know, so, hey, and this land is going to be desolate, meaning destroyed, man. This whole land, as we read in verse 6. Not verse 6, but uh, verse 5. To destroy the whole land. This is what the Heavenly Father is going to do to this place, man. That's why you need to get yourselves in order and repent. Turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. For those that have heard this word, man. You know, don't make no turn and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Don't take your time. We don't know how much time we have, man. Prophecies coming to pass. So, hey, let the scripture say the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is at hand, it's close. Jot down the verse. Eleven, it reads, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Verse 12, And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a golden wedge of Ophir, verse 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. You know, the scriptures talks about the, uh, the earth rocking back and forth like a drunkard, man. Rocking to and fro like a drunkard. And what's going to cause that, man? Those thermal nuclear missiles. You know, this ain't no game, man. You know, you Israelites hear this word and you just take it. Ah, they just talking. No, man. This the Heavenly Father speaking through us. We just the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father, man. He's not going to come down and talk to you face to face, man. You get mad. You, Come on, man. This earth can't even contain the heavenly father, man. And you damn sure couldn't be face to face with the heavenly father. So he used his men, his holy men, his, his, his the vessels that he chose to preach this word, which are Israelite men. We speak in his words. So I just, you know, 
wanted to touch on that. You know, and you know, this whole chapter right here, good. You know, it talks about you know, you know, you read verse, you can read all of it, but it start at verse verse seventeen and talks about you know the the Medes, which are the Russians, you know, going to destroy this place, man. You read all the way down here, talks about how this place, verse 20 of this place, with a start at verse 19, it talks about uh, this place going to be overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah was. And how was Sodom and Gomorrah overthrown? By fire. And that fire is going to come from the, the fire that's going to destroy America is going to come from those thermonuclear missiles. And then verse 20, it talks about this place not being inhabited again, ever. You know, and tw verse 21 and verse 22 is telling you that this place is going to be a desert, man, for desert-like creatures. So America is going to be destroyed, man. The, day, the heavenly father, the day of the heavenly father is coming. You know, I would read it. But you can read it on your own time. I just wanted to, you know. Try to keep this short. You know, Jake got a short attention span, man. You know, but it is what it is, man. Yeah, you know, Isaiah 13. Good chapter. But yeah, I'm ended off with that, you know. Blow the trumpet and Zion, which we do by preaching his word, you know. It's still Israelites, you know. That have to be, you know, woken up, you know, not just be woken up, but, you know, to, you know, repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which are going to be the elect. You know, this is what we blowing the trumpet for, for the elect. To, you know, preach this word unto the uh, elect, whoever they be of the Israelites, you know, and they, they live, you know, they, they become alive, man. You know, and believe on this truth. You know, so I'm ended off with that. Uh, see y'all again soon, y'all willing. Shalom.